The Adhyaman College of Agriculture and Research is one of the affiliated colleges to Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, Coimbatore. Was started in the year 2016 to cater the needs of rural youth for their undergraduate degree program of Honours Agriculture. The college is situated on the Sulagiri Berigai Road in a small village called Atimukam. The college spreads over to about 125 acres, comprising various kinds of agricultural lands. The student community largely represents from rural areas and also have representation from the adjoining states. As far as the infrastructural facilities are concerned, the college possesses vast, sophisticated building structures with all required laboratories, smart lecture halls, a mini auditorium, indoor games, sports grounds, and a peaceful temple site for meditation and yoga performance. The agricultural degree program is unique that students are exposed to hands-on training for which. Experimental fields with modern irrigation techniques are available. The success of any student lies in the knowledge acquisition for which library and information center plays a vital role. We have a good number of textbook wells comprising all departments of agriculture, horticulture, animal husbandry, allied sciences, and skill development in English and Tamil language. Recent developments in the science of electronics has penetrated in all the disciplines without which no science can exist. Agricultural learning is also supported by latest software tools, and the college is having more than 100 terminals housed in a comfortable IT laboratory. The computer center is kept open whenever the students wants to access. The students of Adhyaman College of Agriculture and Research now undergoes more than 100 courses in a four-year program, and theoretical learning is a must for practical application. We have a good number of 32 teachers available to teach various courses. The entire program is in accordance with the national stream of ICAR, endorsed by a uniform code of learning by TNAU. The ultimate learning exercise is evaluated by regular examinations, for which a state-of-art exam hall has been created, where the students can concentrate their output in a most comfortable manner. Breeding for various parameters such as breeding for disease resistance, breeding for quality improvement. Breeding for transgenic plants is the mandate of the Department of Plant Breeding and Genetics. The fundamentals of agriculture starts with the agronomy, where the students are exposed right from the field preparation until harvest, where series of operations are done as the farmers are doing. Agronomy forms the backbone of agriculture, over which other branches supplements for students' capacity building. Forecasting the weather is a basic requirement for agriculture. Our college is equipped with a well-established weather forecasting meteorological observatory. It consists of various instruments. Daily, the observatory readings are collected at appropriate timings. The recorded readings are published for students and other research references. Students get a practical exposure to systematic data collecting and recording. The soil science and agricultural chemistry is a branch of crop management which deals with the classification of soil, soil fertility, problem soils, and deals with the reclamation process. The knowledge of agricultural chemistry is a must for rationalizing fertilizer recommendation. It also deals with the quality of irrigation water, nutrient uptake, and budgeting. Thereby, optimum and precise fertilizer development is desired for individual crops for their soil type. The science of plant physiology and reveals the internal architecture of the crop. The science of plant physiology is applicable to all branches of agriculture. The principles are applied across other sciences, without which reasoning out to solve a particular problem is not possible. Agriculture cannot be separated from the environmental factors. The various ecological parameters, such as poisonous gases. Pollutants often pose problems to not only crops but also to human beings. Science is unique wherein the students are given the principle of environmental science, including government policies and minimizing pollution. In nature, all the crops are exposed to many insect pests, diseases, nematode problems, and knowing the diversity of insects attacking the crop is a science called agricultural entomology. The type of insects, their damage to crops, and their management is taught to the students with wider field exposure. Like entomology, which deals with the insect pests, plant pathology deals with fungi, which causes damage to the crops in various animals. Some of the fungal diseases are dreadful. The science 
deals with epidemiology and bioeco types of pathogen including fungicides and biocontrol agents in nature some of the organisms which are not visible to our naked eyes are available in plenty the study of such microbes is known as microbiology one of the major branch of agriculture is horticulture which is now gaining momentum horticulture deals with fruits vegetables flower crops medicinal plants landscaping indoor gardening terrace gardening in urban towns and makes students learn about horticulture as an industry agriculture is supported by food science and technology because we live for food providing quality food with nutrient security is the major role of our government in such a way the students are learning food science and technology including processing and packaging without losing quality the transfer of technology through various development departments stakeholders and eventually reach the farmers the science of transfer of technology is designated as agricultural extension which is the correct path to transfer of latest outputs of science to farmers The system of agriculture education has been made as a residential program and hostel is made compulsory so that the students can wake up early and go to the fields regularly for which hostel amenities are available. The students have good dining facilities and quality food is provided. We have a facility of free Wi-Fi, separate washing area and a TV room. A working table is provided for each room. Dining hall with a capacity of 200 students at a time is available. As described earlier, agriculture learning is a practical course where the students are given hands-on training for various cultivable practices. Field facilities such as wetland, garden land, food lots, and animal husbandry does exist. The modern agrotechnics followed makes students self-confident. We have exclusive crop production courses, polia diagnosis, soil sample collection, insect collection, insect rearing, and making insect museum as whole field components. The farm activities have been initiated with cultivation of crops and planting of tree saplings. We have a farm manager, agricultural officer and farm supervisor with 45 farm workers. Two tractors with farm implements like cultivator, mold board plough, ridger, leveling board, rotavator, cage wheel, forty cum seed drill and two power weeders are in use for farm cultivation. We have an approach graft is an easy graft to make in the right specialty situation. In a garden or greenhouse it is used to join one living plant to the another. The main advantage is both the eventual scion and the rootstock are nursed by their own roots while the graft heals. Here the graft failure is extremely rare. For after care of grafts special structures like polyhouses are constructed in our college. Poly houses in our farm where protected cultivation is done. It enables to cultivate high value crops, off season crops and extended life cycle of the crop. Poly houses are maintained under controlled conditions such as temperature and relative humidity. Poly houses enable us to grow crops throughout the year irrespective of the season. The college is having advanced field labs for early ha learning. We can see a state of art animal husbandry unit comprising cows country chicken sheep goats and piggery the students are given quality vegetables quality chicken made available from college itself 90% of the requirement is fulfilled by our domestic farming excess production is given to our sister colleges this makes our most of the products free from toxicity pesticide residue and steroid components we maintain our farm animals scientifically and we have a veterinarian for frequent monitoring of our farm animals Live animal demonstration is given to the students in their practical classes. Among various livestock species, pig is the most potential source for meat production. We have a poultry unit which includes country chicken, broiler for our own consumption purpose. Now animal waste is used as a manure for our agricultural operations. This whole process is practiced as integrated farming system. Our campus is lucky to be bestowed with the better spiritual place for devoting ourselves. Our temple is located at a mesmerizing natural site. Traditional Tamil deity Ayyanar is the main god of the temple. A huge banyan tree with its extensive branches is located in the temple. The waves of our mind reach its trough and attain serenity. Every morning pujas are offered to the deity and special pujas are offered on occasional days. Few field classes will be conducted underneath the banyan. Mm.
This rural setup is the most suited place in our college for the celebrations like Classroom reading is supported by the extracurricular activity wherein the students are practiced to have physical fitness and mental preparedness. Yoga is the art of our nation. Exclusive yoga classes are conducted for the students to make them healthy, physically and mentally. Extracurricular activities are part and parcel of the syllabus and regular competition for inside and outside campus are encouraged. The students are categorized into various houses and every year sports meet is conducted to make them competitive in sports arena. Health and fitness are integral to the all-round development of students that Adiyaman College of Agriculture and Research aims at. There are two large playgrounds ideal for a series of outdoor games like football and cricket. We have a basketball court, volleyball court and a special indoor stadium for shuttle, table tennis, carom and chess. The playground serves as a venue for annual sports meet which is held every year. One will never find this area without any student on it apart from the college house. Health related physical fitness activities like running and walking refreshes our students and help them to actively participate in sports and academics. Students will participate in inter-college tournaments held by Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, Kaimutur, every year. Our students are all India representatives in certain games. Students are well trained in skills for respective games by our physical education teachers. The objective of the Department of Physical Education is facilitating young minds to become good players and capable citizens of India through sports, physical education and to develop their personality. 